up. All right, my name is Nolan Bilinga. I'm a master's student at Portland State University. There's a lot going on at Portland State right now, as you could tell. But as you know, we live in a world filled with poverty, with sickness, war, and more. Too many people still are crushed by the weight of inequity. And you and I both know that there is a lot still to be done to make the world the place that we know that it can be. What a lot of people don't realize about running for office to try to make that change is that it takes courage to do that. So I commend every single candidate that's decided to stand up and run. That courage, having moral courage, I believe is one of the rarest commodities that there are in the world. And it might perhaps be the rarest commodity of all. And just to run for, co for, for Congress, you know, it takes that kind of courage. You risk family, friends, you know, your reputation, relationships, part, perhaps persecution, hate, and more whenever you speak out about a topic that you care about. And today, right now, we see a lot of young people, myself being a student at Portland State, they're trying their best to have their voices heard in the best ways that they know how. They've taken up the rarest commodity which is that moral courage to speak up about injustice. Another value that I have is faith. And the truth is, is that running for office, like so many of us are doing, it takes faith. I believe that faith the size of a mustard seed can move a mountain. And it's that faith to do the impossible, that you can do anything that you set your mind to, including changing the world. And a lot of people, the truth is that most people won't have the opportunity to shake and move mountains, but even just the smallest little deed, you know, the smallest thing, helping out somebody next to you, if we all do those kind of things, then together we will change the world, and that's what I believe. I believe that we have a new generation of young people that, as I said, they have faith, they have that moral courage, they have energy, they have devotion, like we've never seen before. And I think that we should let those folks lead us to what many would say is the promised land, trying to make America the place that we believe it can be, a city on a hill, a moral authority to the world, and in my opinion, the greatest nation there is on the planet. I tell a lot of young people, don't be afraid to speak the truth. And we got to do that with compassion and kindness and love. And that sums up pretty much my, my views on things and where I stand and what I'm trying to do.